For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 17 of the Football Manager stream series here on the Chesnoy Gaming channel. Starting a new stream session. How are we still in a job? I have absolutely no idea. My job security is <laughs> uh, minimal. I'm very insecure. Uh, 36%. Uh, we have been as low as 30 and precarious, but thanks to a win against Cheltenham and a draw against Peterborough, and actually a win against Accrington as well, in between the rather heavy defeat to Luton, we've actually been... To touch wood, a little bit better form-wise, but I'm going to need to continue that going with, against Port Vale, Newport, Notts County, and Barnet, and Crewe, and Colchester. So, I need to go on a run of form to try and improve my job security, but how well that will go, I don't know. I thought, genuinely, we were going to lose our job in the last stream, but we didn't. And somehow, I'm still in a job. We've got a two-week break between now and the next game. And morale is all right. Morale is all right. I can't remember the last time I did a. Uh, can't remember the last time I did a team meeting, so I won't do one just yet. We'll try and get a win in the next game against Port Vale, although we're away from home. But hopefully, we can stay in a job. The January transfer window isn't that far away. I gen I, I don't know what's going to happen. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any more of this. All the uh, thank you for the bits. Any more of this? All the Chelsea Caribbean or the Dortmund series as well. If you want to watch the Dortmund series and this series streamed live, follow the link in the description to uh, to my Twitch, and you'll be able to uh, to see it over there. But I'm going to crack on and uh, divert my attention to my uh, to my Twitch chat. As you can tell, Ashley just said hi with some bits. Thank you very much, Ashley. Uh, I'm going to divert my attention to my Twitch chat. But like I say, follow the link in the description. Come join me, and uh, hopefully in the next few episodes that you see here on the YouTube channel, I won't get sacked. Although, <laughs> I, I might. Help me. I'm fully expecting to, uh, to get the sack today, but I'll try not to. All we can do is try. My day's been alright, thank you, Connor. How has yours been? Even the Niffler. Uh, Pierre Mingoy got in Team of the Week. Bradley Halliday still out for another week or so with that broken collarbone. Uh, apparently, my the manager support level for me is good. Aziz is an influential player, and Pierre Mingoy has gone from an influential player to a highly influential player. The managerial support is good from the from the squad. At least they have that going for me. The match cohesion is good. The uh, managerial support is good. It's just that the dressing room atmosphere is average at the minute, but hopefully that will improve. With regards to what the board are happy and or unhappy with me for, you see the managerial support is very high. The board are pleased to see that I have a fairly good backing from the players. Uh, dressing, pardon me, dressing room atmosphere is high. Club finances is high. Club philosophies is high, transfers and club stature are also improved. Actually, they're all at 50%, never mind. Uh, Tammy Abraham has scored six goals. Thank you very much for the bits again, Ashley. Seems like that was well worth the signing then, doesn't it? Uh, I did see your... Uh, I did see your, your <laughs> snap, CJ, and I did open it on stream, but I skipped the last couple. <laughs> I just skipped the last couple because it got a bit not suitable for being streamed. But thank you for the compliments that you paid me in that. It was very kind of you. As long as the players still like me, then it's going to give me the ability to stay here a little bit longer. If the players hated me, then I'm pretty sure I would have been sacked already. But the players actually don't mind me, so we're alright with me. You don't need to apologise, mate. <laughs> Live through the state I was in, oh, I know. Rogers set to sign for Cambridge. Good. 
Anton Rogers is set to sign for us. We uh, are picking up our first... That's going to be genuinely my first permanent signing. My first permanent signing of the entire save. Because we made the loan signing of Sean Kavanagh, but now Aaron Rodgers has come in. And hopefully can give us some more options in the midfield. I'm really pleased with the way that Aziz has started to pick up goals as well. 8 and 15 for him now. Ooh, I don't want to get I don't want to get too ahead of myself because we've been in terrible form. We just have had a little bit of a of a return. Uh, Rogers to be unveiled. Uh, pleased. An already large squad. Uh, not I'm not going to talk about club club finances publicly. Uh, fifth club. Uh, their loss is our gain. Yep. Yeah. Uh, certainly hope he can produce. I think it'll be a lift to everyone at the club. I certainly hope so. Uh, I'm not going to discuss personal relationships in public, though, and we'll move on. Good. Thank you for the bit, by the way, Smithy. Oi, oi. Pretty certain that's Brendan's son. Really? Really? I mean, I'll check, but... I didn't know Brendan Rogers had a son that played the game. I'll check as soon as it stops advancing. It's stopped advancing. <laughs> Rogers. Uh, information. He is Brendan Rogers' son. You are correct, Dan. Look at you dropping the knowledge bomb in the chat. It is Brendan Rogers' son. He's going to have great character then, isn't he? 24 years of age, so young enough to be able to uh, be here for a while, hopefully. Dan dropping the knowledge bomb. That, that was the knowledge bomb, by the way, if, if you weren't aware. Uh, thank you for the bits, Ashley. Out the Champions League, back in the Europa League again. Oh, that sucks. Best of, you hope, bleh, best of luck. Hopefully you can win the Europa League again for back-to-back -back seasons. Do it the way that Sevilla did. Uh, board confidence update. They are disappointed. Well, yeah, I'm still very insecure. Squad dynamics. Oh, it's gone down a little bit. Managerial support. Okay, fair. Chelsea Matters is now poor. Okay, so I've advanced a few days and now things have gotten worse. Aziz drops like a first team football concern. Not surprised. You've been starting every week and you've been uh, scoring almost every week as well. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm here all week. We're not in the FA Cup anymore because we lost to Gillingham. Yeah. Hey, Samster. Samster the hamster. <laughs> I do my own sound effects. <laughs> for some reason. I just, I make the weirdest noises. I'm such an idiot in front of the camera. I apologise for being just stupid. Twelfth with seventeenth. I wonder what the gap is. I'm gonna check the league table actually. I'll check the league table. Pardon me, and we will see. We will see what uh, it looks like overall different stages. So we're on twenty-seven points, and to be fair, Port Vale are only three points ahead of us. Although our goal difference is pretty poor at minus seven. But if we, uh, what's Port Vale's? Form like not the best. They've lost the last two. It's so tight. That's the thing with League Two. It's probably the same in League One as well, and the Championship. To be fair, it's always so tight in the midfield or in the mid table. Like we're seventeenth, but we're only five points off eighth, and they in turn are only six points off second and seven points off the top of the table. Nearly halfway through the season. 
Such a competitive league, League 2. It always is, every single year. Oh, 35 bits from Ashley. I'm third in the Premier League on FIFA. How Brighton will versus Crystal Palace, I think, 2-1. Uh, I think Brighton will beat Palace, yeah. I think Brighton will beat Palace. Congratulations on being third in the league, though. You, Where did you finish last year? I think you said you finished eighth in the Premier League, didn't you? And you won the Europa League. I'm trying to remember. Why do you get commercials only in Indian? I have no idea, to be honest. If you've got a VPN set up so that you're um, in India for some reason, maybe, I don't know. Whereabouts in the world are you, FPS card? Have you signed John Akinde? Yes, CJ, that's a good signing. Especially for a uh, team at Eastleigh's level, jeez. You're not even in India. <laughs> I presume so, otherwise it would have made sense as to why you're um, ad were in Indian. Just had an FM career with Aberdeen, just because you fancied it. Not the obvious choice, Aberdeen, but, you know, why not? Got to be challenging for Champions League spots in the SPL, surely. Maybe even a title at Aberdeen. Maybe you could replicate Sir Alex Ferguson and end up at Manchester United. I did put a little video up on YouTube, yeah, the little notification video wobble. I tweeted out, I put the little notification video up and obviously Twitch sends out a notification as well. Hey Bradley. What's up, hoes? <laughs> oh. I'm not a ho, I'll have you know, although I'm a poet, even though I didn't know. Hey, bars. Currently managing Ferenc Faros in Hungary on your Journeyman series in 2021 right now. Jeeves. I don't, I don't even have leagues like that on. What leagues do you have on, Seb? How many leagues do you have on? Claridge demands more from Taylor. Oh, he's so, he moans so much, Steve Claridge, in the press. It's silly. Right, here comes the game against Port Vale, away from home. It's a big test, and I'm expecting to lose it, to be honest. But we will find out in due course. Fitness tests. Good. Bradley Halliday's not going to be... Oh, well... Maybe. We are favourites, although we're in inconsistent form, understandably. Uh, quick pick. Uche and Aziz have got a good partnership going now. Gary Deegan. Uh, go ahead, Dunk. I'm tempted to keep playing Mediolita on the left, though. Well, he's not been in amazing form. Harrison Dunk has been better. Hmm. Hello! 100 bit smash here. I don't know how to play FM, but better at FIFA. Uh, FM can be quite complicated if you're not used to how it works. I need a, What I need to do in January, if we make it to January, is get another centre-back. I really, really need another centre-back. I don't know if to play Gary Deegan alongside. Let's play Paul. I see Paul Lewis hasn't even been in a good form, to be honest. Uh, supported ball winning midfielder, maybe? No. Could give Anton Rogers a game. Do I start? I don't really know whether I want to start him there. I'll put him on the bench. Ah, Osadebi we could throw in there. Throw Osadebi in there as a box to box midfielder, supportive box to box midfielder. Cavalier and Dunk don't necessarily have a decent partnership, do they? Fairly poorly when played together, not a good partnership. Mingoya and Halliday play fairly decently together, fairly well together. Thank you for the, that, bleh, thank you for the bits, Nick. It's got about 25 countries loaded right now. Most just top flight, but some of them with a couple of tears down. Uh, can I show who's doing bits for Colchester, top of the league? I'm playing them soon. I'm playing them soon. But I can have a look after this game if you so wish. 
Anton Rogers is coming into the bench. Or coming onto the bench. Oh. I'm going to just calmly say, go out there and enjoy yourselves. I'm going to put too much pressure on. Thank you for the bits, James. Or bit, singular. Right, here we go. Let me open the volume mixer and just put the sound back on. Here we go. Thank you for the bits, James. Right. Oh, that. Well, I mean, that's a great tackle, but it's going to end up with a poor girl chance. Uh, James, please don't send the bits through individually <laughs> like that, because it's just going to uh, interrupt the stream. But thank you for giving me the bits. But if you wanted to give me five bits, could you do it all in the one transaction, please? I'd appreciate it. Thank you. How do you sub with Prime? Um, oh no, Jay's injured. How? What with? 24 minutes, Luke Jay's going to have to come off. I'll put Jabbo on, because he can play the same role. That's annoying. Uh, to sub with Prime, you just go over the... When you go to subscribe, it will give the option to either use your Prime or uh, use, uh, use money. Well, oh, what a header from Leon Leg from the corner. Flicking on at the near post, in off the far post. We're 1-0 up. What's a header? We've had more chances, Port Vale, but we've taken the lead. You can tweet me if you like, Ashley, but I bet I don't play people on FIFA. Sorry. I just don't have the time to play uh, viewers, unfortunately. I'm always either working or streaming <laughs> or asleep. Right, so we won it up at half time. Brad Halliday's made a couple of mistakes. I'm just going to... I'm going to say things will go well, but I know you're capable of better. And now... I'll ask Bradley uh, Bradley Halliday. Oh, I've already ended the team talk. Idiot chairs. Never mind. Uh, yeah, please don't give us a running text commentary in the chat, please, Roland. <laughs> it seems everybody on the Port Vale team is looking quite frustrated right now. Understandably, they've had more chances, but find themselves behind. Go on, Jabbo. Send the ball through. Leon Legs won that header well, but now they're on the attack again. He's out of position. So far out of position, that Harry Forrest is... Oh, sorry, Anton Forrest... Oh, no, he's taken him down. Should be a yellow card. Thank you for the 50 bits. Sauce for the spam. I was expecting five clicks to go through. I was like five. No worries, James. Yellow card for Leon Leg. Ah, he's going to be banned for a game now because that's his fifth yellow card of the season. Oh, and the keeper went the right way but couldn't stop it. It's all right. It's all right. I'll encourage them. I'll encourage them. Keep the morale up. Go on, Jabbo. Slot the ball through. Harrison dunks in behind. Oh, he's missed. Harrison. You can't get much more clear cut than that. I can't believe he's put that wide. He was one on one. I can't believe he's missed that. Harrison. Oh, wake up, Kyle. What is this? Out wide, out wide. Oh, 
I don't like this. Port Vale are really starting to turn the wick up now. Nice ball through to O'Neill and Jabbo's there if he can play him in. It's through to Harrison Dunk, who scores this time. Yes, Harrison, that's much better. We lead. Right, now do I make tactical changes? I'm tempted to. I might take Osadebe off. Oh, don't say side. I'll take Osadebe off for uh, Anton Rogers. Set him to ball winning midfielder. And I'm going to switch to uh, counter. Bradley Halliday is still playing quite poorly. Uh, what do I think of Coleman to Sunderland? It's an interesting one. I think Sunderland's a bit of a hopeless job at the minute, but fair play to Chris Coleman for taking it on. Oh, that's a great ball. As is that, this will be a superb goal. Good save, David Ford. Thank you. This game looks like FIFA 97. It's not necessarily about the graphics of the match engine on Football Manager. <laughs> I might actually. Oh! What a strike! Christ! I'm tempted to bring on Gary Deegan and go 4-5-1. I am going to do that. I take Jabbo off, bring Gary Deegan on, put Gary Deegan in the middle there. Set him to a ball winning midfielder, a defensive ball winning midfielder. Actually, they're going to be better that way around. Aziz centrally. And we are still on counter, so we'll do that. And then we will retain possession. Take off working to the box. Time waste occasionally. Okay, confirm. Make some tactical changes to try and hold on to this lead. See if it works. Also making the equalise before the tactical changes get the chance to come into effect. Told ya! Brilliant! Fucking called it. Terrible pass from Leon Leg. I like the fact it does that and it gives you the option to back out of your tactical changes because of the goal. So Jabbo stays on the pitch, although he's just given the ball away. Thank you for the donation. I will read that momentarily. What a tackle. Let's go. Up the other end. Corner's easier in. This is the sort of chance that he's buried so far this season. But he can't do it this time. Uh, let me check that donation. It was £2 from Leone. He says, hey. Hey, Leone. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> Can we score another corner? No. No, we can't. Right, I'm going to make another tactical change. Bradley Alladay's had a poor game. I'm going to tell you what I write that. Oh, does it make any more changes? No, don't change it too much, Chess. Do 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 do. Leicester got one in up against Spurs, have they? Go on, Liam, bury that. Okay, we'll play it back to Pierre Mingoya. Not like it's the last minute and we need to score now. Never mind, a 2-2 two, two, two draw against Port Vale. It's not the worst result in the world. Not the worst result in the world. I shall tell them I'm happy with that performance. We'll take it. 
We'll take it. Uche's out for two to three weeks with pulled ankle ligaments. That sucks. Harrison Dunn was very good in that game. I may I was sat there questioning the decision as to whether to start him or not. Hey, Harry, subscribe to this Twitch Prime. You were able to figure it out. Thank you very much, Harry, for the subscription, mate. Welcome to the No ID family. That's the one Tottenham who scored. It was Jamie Vardy after 13 minutes. Are you in pre-season, CJ? I presume so, if you're playing Oldham with uh, Eastleigh. Do I rate Cheltenham Town? They're alright. They're not the best. They're not the worst. Hmm. Effective from through balls. Seventy one percent pass completion rate. Hmm. I don't know whether to hold a team I can't remember when the last time I held one was. I don't want to hold too many because then they get bored that you're holding too many. Pardon me. First friendly. Uh, I haven't got the set kit, Josh, no. Yet being the, uh, the key point. We still... I drew against Port Vale, and my my job security's gone down by another two percent. Oh no! I think basically the next time I lose a game, I'll get sacked. Pretty sure. Hey, Ray Mysterio. Thanks for watching me on YouTube, and now on Twitch too. Throws beat Luton. Luton would probably be a good team to start a save with, to be fair. So to those training report, he's getting better. That's good. He says no progress, but some of his stats are going up. George Tars loan deal set to... Yeah, that's fine. We haven't really been using him at all, have we? I'd like to think the board would come to me and be like... And give me, like, a points target, rather than just sack me straight off the bat. But we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Go to staff and job centre. There are quite a few jobs that are available right now. 